We talk about this and talk about that. Shut up, stop running out, let's talk about facts. Live a little, laugh a lot, let's have some fun. Listen to Gina, she'll tell you how it's done. Did you know? Good to know. What did you know? Well, now you know. Never know what's gonna happen on the No Filter Show. Loud and proud, funny and cool. Say what you're thinking, that's her only rule. Be the change. Be the change. Come watch the No Filter Show. No Filter is brought to you by Oasis Shopping Bahamas. Online shopping made easy. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the No Filter Show with me, Gina Knowles. Yay! So today we have two special guests, which one I think was uh, we have to have about talking about customer service here and um, how it's gone down. And she is from a company called Strivewise. Her name is Raquel Clark. And she actually does training to help our companies get better and what's going on in our country, stuff like that. Really, really, I think it's going to be interesting. And then our head Knowles admin, Miss Erica Watkins Lang. So we're going to get to watch her and she's going to tell us about how she feels about head Knowles. So we'll be back. All right. Stay tuned. Cool. Say what you thinking. That's her only rule. No Filter is brought to you by Oasis Shopping Bahamas. Bank of the Bahamas, Quality Home Center, Dairy Queen, Chef Boyardee, Boss, BAF Financial and Insurance, Checkers Cafe, Doctors Hospital, Marathon Vet Clinic, Mesa Grill, Live to Fish, Lowe's Pharmacy, Riley Boys Auto and Car Rental, Ultra Games, and The Pediatric Place. This is how it feels to consolidate your debt with Bank of the Bahamas. And this is how it feels to reduce your monthly payments. Come discover the new BOB, offering debt consolidation loans at the lowest rate in town. And guess what? You can get cash in addition to cleaning up your finances. That's how it feels. Apply today for your BOB debt consolidation loan. Terms and conditions apply. This segment is brought to you by Bank of the Bahamas, the Bank of Solutions. Welcome back, everybody, to the No Filter Show. And I'm here now with special guest, Raquel Clark, who is actually a really, really, I don't want to say old friend because we ain't old, <laughs> but a uh, friend who I know a long time. And I actually met her through customer service training. She was actually one of the people who made me fabulous in customer service. Right? Gina, you were born fabulous. Wow. I hope <laughs> yeah. you know it. I, but I, but I, I, I actually think that the, the training did help a lot. Absolutely. I learned a lot. Yes. And um, I said the other day on the show where I got so upset because these days when I go out, the customer service level in this country has gone down so much. And I feel as if... We just accept. Now it's just, it's, it's just, it just happens. Go in, get your stuff. If the customer service sucks, that's it. Yes. Take it. Yes. So I said, I'm going to bring on, I was like, I'm going to bring on a specialist who does customer service training and who's going to tell us about it. And, and I, of course, the only person I could bring is Raquel. <laughs> and I said, so she could please explain to this country what we need. <sighs> and, you know, she actually came out of the hotel after 100 years and opened her own business, <laughs> which is years. called Strive Wise. <laughs> yes. And it, it makes sense, Strive Wise, yeah. <laughs> good name. <laughs> and all of you companies need to hire her to train your staff, please. So, okay. I second that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Explain to me, you know what, and obviously if she went on her own, it's because that's how much it's needed. Mm -hmm. So, 
explain to me exactly what your company does and what you do and what you focus on and why do you think that was needed? Okay. So um, I came out of the hospitality industry after 18 years, excited by the opportunity to go in and help small businesses. Because as you said, you walk around and you see the potential, right, of people to create businesses that really create experiences. And we were taught that at Atlantis. We were taught to look at our business in terms of an experience. Right. And people in the community really don't do that, right? They come in with an intention to make money often, and they don't invest in the business in a way that's going to yield those results. And so I said, you know what? A lot of people could use help. It can be a lot better than it is, so let me go out and see how I can help. My main focus, I, I do a little bit of customer service, but my main focus is on leadership. Because as you and I found out in Atlantis, is that it's, it really, you know what they say, fish stinks from the head. Exactly. So it's a matter of being able then to equip leaders and teach leaders what they need to do to engage their employees in the experience. Because why, why, if you ain't doing it, why I must do it? Absolutely. Do it. Absolutely. And you know, it's, it's, when I go in and I do work with companies, one of the first things I say is, look, if you're having a problem with your employees, I'm going to have to ask you at the leadership level, what are you not doing? Mm -hmm. All right, what are the things that you failed to do that's going to properly engage people and make them feel like being a part of this, this thing that you've created? And it can start as simple as, what do we believe as a company? Right, exactly. Yeah, and what did we intend to create? And if you say, you, you would agree to say that over the past 10, 15 years that the customer service level in the country has gone like this. We was known as the friendliest, the you know best customer service, and now it even the tourists who have come here over the years yeah. have said how much we've gone down. Why do you think that is? Well, you know, I, I think a good way to crystallize it too is, and we were talking just before, um, to your, your team here, and the fact that most of us now think that when we have a good experience is the exception rather than the norm. Right. Right. So we go out in a given day, we have five mediocre exceptions, and one time somebody smiles at us, we remember them. Oh, what a lovely person. Right. <laughs> uh, right? We're surprised. Oh, my goodness. Someone smiled? <laughs> exactly. I want a prize. <laughs> exactly. You need a raise. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. But I think it's because we've shifted our focus from being very intentional about service. All right. So a couple of things. It's not just one thing. One, one thing is that we've shifted our focus. Uh, we used to be very hospitality driven and we had to please people to make our money. From school. Absolutely. We, right? They don't teach that in school anymore. Right, right. I wonder why. You know, so, so we've expanded, our options are greater. You know, this is an employee's market, not an employer's market. There are options all, you know, that young people don't even have to stay with the company and they're not. For a lot of the businesses that I work with, the hardest thing is retention. Can I get a person to stay with me beyond six? Months, right? So, Gina, you know, they come in three months, they're gone, you know, and so the turnover was really high. And it, and it is, I think that we haven't made a lot of the paradigm shifts necessary to respond to the changes that are the new way. But as well as, it's sad because it's like this, I feel like, you know, and I know companies because I, I, majority of the companies who I shop with, I know the owners. Yes. I know the directors, the higher ups, and they're fabulous people. Yes. And they're so great and they, they want the customer service. Mm. And then I go in and I get so disappointed because their staff sucks. And I sit there and I'm like, what has happened? And then I text them and I tell them, and you know what I try to do too? Yeah. I video. Yes. I video because I, I have to show them the proof. I was like, no, I didn't. I'm not making this up. Yes. And um, I don't, I don't get if, because some of them tell me, you know, you know how much I spent on training? Yes. But it's like these young people, they, they have this don't care attitude and this entitlement. Yes. And then many times I've said, listen, so you signed a contract. This is your job description. We explain this is what you need to do, but yet you don't want to do it and you don't care. And I come to job for my paycheck. And I don't think I need to smile with you. I don't need to pay attention to you. Who cares? I don't get it. I just, I don't understand it. Why? And you um, actually express a sentiment that a lot of my my clients express, right? Because what they learn is that it's very involved. And it's not as easy as we think it is. It is a system that you have to put in place to be able to engage people, number one, and keep them consistent, right? So we're talking about, and think about our experience at Atlantis and what we learned. 
you, you train, you teach people what you believe. Our, th those were our core values. Right. And every employee at Atlantis could say the core values. I can say them to the grave. Right. What those four car core values were were instilled in us. Okay, so that's one step in the system. The second system is, okay, let's train the behaviors. Let's train the do's and the don'ts and how we want them to interact. The third one is, let's make sure that we have the proper supervision in place to monitor, to coach, to keep people honest and true to the standards to protect the culture. Then the fourth step is, let's make sure there's an evaluation in place, something that we can actually measure, whether it's a mystery shopper or the trip advisor, that we can get actual real-time feedback that we can share with people and say, look, this is how we're doing. Right. Right. So the scorecard concept. And then let's reward or let's address the behavioral issues that come up. Because we, as a, we, we as a people, we are praise people. Absolutely. If you're giving me a prize, yes. It, even if it's a star, it's yes. amazing. Yes. I'm gonna shine for you. Mm -hmm. And I have learned too that if you treat me good, I can treat you good. Absolutely. So we do also have this where we have. I am not gonna say that all bosses are fantastic and phenomenal and all of that, but I do know that there are some that they are stink and they expect that their staff must be fabulous. Absolutely. And, and you can't have it, you're right? It's the same thing with the business owner who intends to only make profit or they put the priority on the customer and none on the staff. So you know them. They say, look, when my, when my customers come in here, you all better act right. Exactly. Right? Exactly. You all better step up. D don't mess with my customers. But then you ask that owner, what have you done to show your staff you care? You know, what, how do you train them? You know, how do you kind of recognize them in the day? What do you do to make sure that there are meetings in place and people feel special? And so you can't are focus you on morale? exactly. It's, it blows me away. All right, so we're going to come right back and um, make sure you watch my commercials because these people can make their notes, all right? <laughs> and uh, we can come back with Raquel in a minute, all right? Learn about customer service in this country. See you in a minute. Come on into the Quality Home Center. You will see the savings from when you enter. Your one-stop department store with so much niceness. Friendly staff, great atmosphere, low prices. They got brand name appliances, furniture, hardware, electronics, home decor, toys and apparel. Shop and save. There's no need to go away. Stay at home and save big. Stop and shop at the Quality. Home Center, Home Center, spend less and live better. Welcome to Doctors Hospital Pharmacy, open 24 hours a day, ensuring both our inpatients and the general public have access to a full-service pharmacy whenever they need it most. At Doctors Hospital, we care about making you feel safe and at home. We know our way around a counter with our team of highly trained, knowledgeable pharmacists available 24 hours a day. We offer a complete range of pharmacy services to all our patients. The pharmacy at Doctors Hospital, open 24 hours a day. This segment is brought to you by Quality Home Center. Spend less, live better. Hey everybody, we're back here. Gina Knowles to the No Filter Show. And I'm with my friend Raquel Clark from the uh, company Strive Wise. Strive Wise. I was going to say the customer service, but you keep saying this, Gina Knowles. Services and leadership and all that. Right, so I'm but just we do to make that customer right. service. Yes. Well, I, I, because that's what I know you yes, as. Yes, we absolutely you know? do customer service. So, mm -hmm. okay, so I, this is my question. What do you think about Bahama hosts and do you think that it's necessary? Is this a trick question? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear Ooh, what you the think. Nation, the nation is watching. That's right. All right, so let me ask have you done it? Yes. What did you learn? Um, oh Lord, she, she, she twists us on me like she's the host. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have actually done it over the past 20 years. I've probably done it five times. Mm -hmm. and That's each, a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. because they say that every three years you should refresh. Oh, I see. Good. And um, on, honestly, I can tell you the, the thing that I've learned was um, <laughs> that our, we have lots of potholes in our roads because we're made of limestone. <laughs> Gina. That was what I learned. <laughs> Gina. From John Burroughs. I even remember the teacher. So that lesson was important to you. That stuck. Well, it, it, it stuck because it made sense. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. you know, but everything else I knew. <laughs> All right. And I was in there with a bunch of jet ski guys uh -huh. and the taxi driver because I think that it's mandatory for them. Certain people in the country must have their 
Bahama Ho certificate. I do it just to have it. Mm -hmm. And I also do it just because I like to say, and whenever they change anything, whenever we're learning anything okay. new, I keep saying, people like us need to teach the class. Yes. And um, so, yeah. So, so let me tell you what I think about it. I did it many moons ago. It's not a requirement for me, obviously, but I did it many moons ago, and I remember at that time, if the intention is still the same, which is to kind of give us a pride um, and also give us some knowledge about the Bahamas, what our culture is, what our plant and our product is, and you know, instill those values. I think from that standpoint, it's important. But as you said, the program has to make sense, and it has to be designed around these times in terms of how do we get people to connect to the why of service. A lot of Bahamians disconnect, right? So they think service means servitude, and that's still a, a hurdle we have to go over. We have to begin to teach people, not because you say thank you and please and yes, ma'am, and it's great to have you, means that you're being a servant. It means that you have an idea of how to get people to feel special and to value the people that bring the business to you. The straw market vendors go as well. Yeah. Yes. And it's funny because between them and the jet ski guys, they still want to harass you. Absolutely. They're not dressed properly because I don't know if you know, there's a requirement that taxi drivers supposed to wear the tropical shirt or with a tie, like all of that is supposed really? to be. Yes. But yet you still see them in t-shirt, cut up shorts and all that. And you're like, you're only following the rules. All right. So you're representing us. Absolutely. So let's go back to the system I spoke about earlier. Who monitors that? Who polices it? And who's, who's in the straw market act actively saying, look, let's make sure, remember, this is what we're supposed to do? Or how is that tied to their ability to retain the license? You cannot just train people and leave them. And right? you should see the test. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you do this course, and you go there, I think it's twice a week, and then you go and you do the test, and they have a test for... I don't want to say average, mm -hmm. regular people and then like managers. Yes. So line and managers. Uh -huh. And so the manager's test is a little harder. And it's, a, it's majority is like circle, multiple choice. And you sit there and you say, okay, yay, and I pass. I could have guessed my way all through and I pass. Yay. It's crazy. They should make it more strict and as well as I think they should do more role playing and they should go out the same way you said monitor. I think they should have like a badge that says Bahamo. They used to have a little pin. Mm -hmm. They don't have it anymore. Yeah. So we know that they passed this course and you have to act a certain way because it, it's just really, I don't understand. I, I, and, and I want to so bad. Yes. I want to be able to go in and say, I, and, and it's, you know what? I do go to certain places even though it costs more because I know the service is better. Okay. You know what I mean? That makes sense. Because service is so important. I cannot stand a sour face and people who don't care. And sometimes it's the owners who, who don't care as yes. well. They don't want to do. They, they, it, it, I don't know what we have come to, but I know that in my time of growing up, we have changed so much and we need, something needs to happen. So let me explain a couple of things. Uh, you, you bring so much to mind about experiences I've had in our community lately. So let's go to uh, Fidelity Bank. So Fidelity Bank in Palmdale. Um, I went there. I needed to sign in a customer service because I needed to see one of the loan agents. And the process was refined, all right? And you're seeing it in the banks now where the banks are understanding more that they have to create a, an experience for the customer. Mm -hmm. So even uh, at QHC on Carmichael Road, the lineup system is different. They don't require you to queue. They allow you to lounge and take a number and be called. Right. So we see some progress in the community. But by and large, the people that are frontline service people, they're still very lacking. And that's because small businesses aren't investing in training. They are literally just building businesses, putting people in them, and, and wishing for the best. And this is the thing is, people, listen, you all don't understand, you have to spend money to make money. Absolutely. If you don't do, it's amazing how much companies, they don't want to do training and customer Absolutely. service, and they don't want to pay for marketing. And training per person per year should be about $125 to $150 for each employee a year. That should be sort of your baseline commitment to the training. And it is essential you cannot do without training. So just right back to the bank, I want to give that quick example, finish that example. So Fidelity, once I signed in, uh, I was waiting. And then the, the, uh, the loan officer came out, Ms. Mrs. Clark, this way for me, please. And I was like, oh. What a breath of fresh air. Yes. Now, just that little thing, that little difference said to me, you know, uh, the bank is trying. 
They're trying to up-level their service and make a difference. But Gina, when I go to places the other day, I, I'm going to give you this quick example. I went to a health food store to get um, some supplements, right? The agent, be, the young girl who was behind the counter, not interested. Forgot my glasses in the car, can't read the labels. Um, excuse me, how much is this? The price is on the label. See how excuse me, um, is this, is this gluten-free? It says so right there. Um, excuse me, what's the best form of, and I'm asking her these questions. Oh, I don't know. I think they all do the same thing. I left the store so frustrated, right? But then you ask, okay, so Raquel, what did you do about it? Did you speak to the young girl? Did you call the agent? Did you? And the answer would be no, no, no. What I did was I told a friend, I was so frustrated, I told a friend, I said, this is the experience I just had. I cannot she, believe she it. Blast on their nose exactly. You know, like are wide open. Exactly. But I have, it's, I've been unsettled by it because that's a store I have to frequent. Yes. And so my commitment now is that I must get in touch with that, with that owner because I have to say, look, that you've built a business where you're going to have repeat customers. If you get it right, I'm going to come to you over and over again. When I come to you, I want recognition and I want service. So you have to make sure, and I'm not blaming your, your agent, I'm blaming you. Yes. You have to make sure that she is equipped, and if she's not the right person, get the right person in there because it's too important for you to leave to chance. And that's what's important as well with, mm -hmm. with everybody to understand. Mm -hmm. You have to have a proper fit. We can't yes. put a circle and a square. Yes. So everybody, once again, uh, Raquel Clark. Strive wise, I, I advise everybody you should call her. What's your phone number or your contact or your email or your website? I'm Coach Raquel20 at gmail.com. Coach Raquel20. Coach Raquel20. R A Q U E L. I've been -E training <laughs> with many sessions. Let me tell you, she's good. And I, I know that she has affected who I am as a person. I appreciate her and I would recommend that. That's why she on this show. Everybody who's called, I asked to come on the show. I expect who on this show. <laughs> so, Raquel, thank you so much for coming. It's been a pleasure. And I, I really hope that some of these companies, please, please, because you all need help. Please. I, I don't want to call your names because then I get in trouble for real. The no filter don't want to come out. Yes. All right. And coming up next is my good friend, Erica Lang, our HK admin. This should be interesting. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Raquel. Thanks, Gina. Love you, honey. I'm happy you brought me on. Thank you. I love you, too. All right, darling. No Filter is brought to you by Oasis Shopping Bahamas, Bank of the Bahamas, Quality Home Center, Dairy Queen, Chef Boyardee, Boss, BAF Financial and Insurance, Checkers Cafe, Doctors Hospital, Marathon Vet Clinic, Mesa Grill, Live to Fish, Lowe's Pharmacy, Riley Boys Auto and Car Rental, Ultra Games, and The Pediatric Place. Hey, DQ fans. Everyone knows DQ has the best sweet treats, but we also have delicious and affordable food options, too. Presenting the DQ $7 Fan Meal. For just $7, choose from one of three delicious oven-caught sandwiches, chicken bacon ranch, grilled chicken, or turkey BLT. Plus, enjoy a DQ Sunday, a soda, and a chip, all for just $7. This is one ridiculous deal you don't want to miss. DQ, it's fan food, not fast food. You can have one good thing, or you can have everything, including dragons. Free HBO Go at 90 plus channels. $99 a month gets you phone, internet, and cable. Ask for Trio. Call 601-2200 or email residential sales at cablebahamas.com. Grab you and us together. I'm bringing fish home to daddy. Plan the best day of your life today. Check us out at www.live2.fish 
or on Facebook, Instagram, and TripAdvisor. Email us at info at live2.fish. This segment is brought to you by Dairy Queen. Fan food, not fast food. Hi everybody, it's Gina here back with uh, No Filter Show, and I'm here with one of my, oh, it's, I'm sorry, it's now the Best of Head and Old segment, yay! Hi. And I'm here with the one and only Erica Watkins Lang, who is uh, one of our jurors on duty of Head and Old. Wow. How are you, Erica? Welcome. I'm doing great. Good to be here, Gina. Great to be here. So... We're gonna roll right into it. <laughs> I, I wonder if I should ask. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna start the questions different. Okay. <laughs> because it's you. I'm up for a challenge. Okay. Who's the meanest? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think is the meanest admin? You know, I take that title. I'm given that title. Um, the mean one, the stink one, the rowdy one, the sarcastic one. Why? But I'm actually not the meanest. We have a little ninja that makes some moves in silence, but that's okay. I'll take the title publicly. And I'm considered <laughs> the meanest one because I ask the hard questions. I'm the one that says, follow the rules. Did you check the search bar? Have, oh, you, yes, referred this, have you referred this to a manager? This is not your personal page. If this is a vent, then you vent on your personal page. But if you want resolution, we're here for you. You're the most vocal. Yeah, I that's, think so. That's probably what it is. Yeah, so then I they always so. see your name and all that. Even though everything still falls on me, mm -hmm. and they say, Gina, babysit your, your, your admins. I just be like, what? They're my babies. I know I babysit them. I have been when, you, babysat I was going to say, y'all don't know this woman. Y'all think I can babysit mm -hmm. her? I don't think so. There ain't no leash on none of them. Nope. So what they do, what they do. Mm -hmm. So then how did you become an admin? You know, that's a funny thing because I really, I was a member of Head Knows. And I really and truly got frustrated by the moist cake and Saturday banking questions. <laughs> I was every minute, it's like, what bank is open on Saturday? Is this bank open? And I'm like, you know what? As much as I want to be a part of this movement, as much as, much as I was there from the beginning, behind the scenes, I'm going to just take a break. And I, I left the group. And then somebody... Go and leave us. I left the group. Yeah. And then somebody asked a question, uh, an HR-related labor question, and it popped up, and um, I started answering this person, thinking it was on my personal page. And then I realized it was on Head Knowles, and it was this little shield beside my name with a star. And I'm like, what's, <laughs> up? what's going on here? And then I realized I'd not only been added back to the group, but made an admin. <laughs> and so I'm like, okay, well, let me see if I can stick it out. And I, I've, I'm sticking it out. Yeah, so far, I'm so good. So far, so good. So what is the best part of being an admin of Head Knowles? The best part of being an admin in Head Knowles is being able to help people, seriously, and to direct them and in some way educate them on the tenets of social media. This is what you do. This is what should you do first. This is the step that you should follow. And a lot that happens behind the scene is, is even better because we get together and we get to say, let's help, let's do this. And we move in silence yes. a lot of times. And it's not on the page, but a lot of people are helped. And that's really, really good. That's something I've always believed in. And a lot of people know, are just now learning that we actually have a behind the scenes. Yeah. And we do communicate. Mm -hmm. And we do see everything. And we do discuss. And we do vote a lot because sometimes yeah. it's great that we have such a different array of characters yes. in our admin group so one Wilkins will absolutely agree and then one will be on the total opposite side yeah. and then we have to have a vote on yeah. yes no yes no and then we say this is but we do balance each other yes, and that's great absolutely. and that's great yeah. it, it's so funny it's great we're, we're all really really yeah. different yeah okay and what is the worst part the worst part is people that just will not see if you don't agree with them then you're being mean you're being stink you know you're the nasty one whatever. Not everybody's going to agree with everything you say. So sometimes people will post and other people will come and, and make comments. And some of the comments are snide. Some of the comments are a little bit rude. But the fact of the matter is when you post in the court of public forums, not everybody's going to agree with you. And so you have to suck it up. You have to suck it up and understand that if you want to control the opinion on a post, do it on your own page. I was going to say, move it to your own page. Move it page. to your own page. And so I, it, it, the worst part of it is people not understanding what it is we're trying to do. What, uh, do you love it? I love it. I love head nose. I love, I love the, f I actually love the groups, even those that go a little bit to the left and take posts down So because they also have something co to contribute. And I, re I see myself in a lot of them. 
um, because I realized that they've reached a stage where I'm fed up, so I'm just going to say whatever I want to say. And the one thing that I don't like about head nulls is we will put out something there and say, we need help for this person, whatever, and everybody's like, what are they going to do with the money? Where's the money going? Where's the accounting? And, and, and I'm like, okay. And then somebody will pop up out of nowhere and say, help me. I have 10 children. I haven't worked in six years. And everybody's like, I can give you this. I can give you that. I can give you that. And when we investigate, we find out this is a scam. This person has been in four different groups doing this. So the part, that part I hate, that you're so eager to just help anybody that says, I need help. But when Head Noel says, here's a project we have and we need help, you question it. And you question it to death. The same core people who always help out. Yeah. And yeah. there's 23,000 people, yeah. but yet we always have the same ones who do the work. Yes. And then they want to go to say to us, oh, but I'm a part of Head Knowles. Right. Oh, but I'm an H care. But what right. are you they being, they doing the H care? Well, it's, it's, and then it's the not change? only that. You, you, you say, you'll say to the admins, you get me and you don't say it to me, delete me then. And no, I'm not going to delete you. I'm going to let you stay here and watch us do what it is that we have purpose to do. So then they'll delete themselves and they'll talk about those. On the other page. In Head Knows. Yes. And I'm like, is, it, is Head Knows really that important in your life? And if it is that important in your life, then help us, support us. If it isn't that important in your life, carry on smartly. Exactly. It, it, you it, understand? It really, it, and, and sometimes uh, it could get so frustrating and you are a person where... You don't let things bother you like I do. And sometimes, and you know how I would go and screenshot this and say, look at this. Because, like, you know, when, when I had the whole thing, when they put the post up um, a few weeks ago that, uh, about me babysitting y'all, yeah. about, um, well, well, they didn't even say screw Gina. They said a, wor a lot worse. And they said yeah. that head nose was going to my head. And then everybody's getting deleted for no reason. And I, I said to them, well, hold on. First of all, I'm not usually the one who deletes, number one. And two, you delete yourself because you broke the rules. Yeah, they do. They and do, and they don't see it. And they don't see it. And the thing about it is, um, I've even had somebody go on another page and say, she's talking about um, the admins are responsible for the content of the page. They can't do anything to you legally. Uh, yes, they can. That's a, when you do, we, we don't have a disclaimer on the page saying the views and opinions expressed by the members are not necessarily the views, you know, views of Ed Knowles. So we're responsible. If somebody is posting someone's picture and saying, have you seen this person? They stole my money, this and that. Take it to the police. That's not a Head Knowles issue. Look at this rash. What is this? Take it to a doctor. That's not a Head Knowles issue. And then you go through a whole post. We, we had a post yesterday. The lady was... Diagnosed with everything from scabies to rabies to, to the bubonic plague or whatever. And she goes to the doctor and it's something else. So we finally got that sorted out. Someone pops up right behind it. Um, what medicine did they give you? My friend has sent me a picture and she has the same thing. Let's all die together. You understand? <laughs> so it's crazy, but it's fun. And then there are moments that make it all worthwhile. And then there are moments when you just have to step back and take a break. Yep. So your absolute favorite thing about being on Head Knowles, last question, is? The variety of posts. Honestly, the variety. It's, eh? it's amazing to me that someone would post in a group asking a question. Someone would quickly Google the answer and copy and paste it. And you're like, oh, wow, Head Knowles did it in five minutes. No, Google did it, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could have Googled it. But hey, the, the thing page, that I'm doing that Google. I'm really, yeah, the, the best part of it right now is trying to get that directory together yes. of, of recommended, recommended individuals and businesses. And hopefully when that directory is together and every member of Head knows, they can go and they'll say, hey, I need an auto mechanic to deal with um, my transmission. Do I post in head notes? Wait, let me look in the directory first and the auto mechanic, and I can call these people. Yes, and I will give them star ratings. We're really excited about that because mm -hmm. now we're going to be able to star them, and if they, we get a report that they were bad, then we can delete them off of our list, and right. everything is going to be by referral only by yes. somebody who has experienced them. So we're really excited about that. Yes. So Erica has decided to take on that project because she's crazy. Yeah. But we're Certifiable. Like, we're, we're, I'm so happy that you came on the show, and I, I'm really excited that um, every show I have a different admin. Next week is my turn where Whee! I get to speak on behalf of Head Knowles. <laughs> so, Erica, thanks so much for coming. And that was great. Um, it's so great seeing you, even mm. though I only see you on text. Yeah. And I love you so much. Love thanks you too, for your darling. And it's been great. And thank you for allowing me to be a part of Head Knowles. Absolutely. All okay, right. darling. Thank you. Phone is good, internet is good. 
TV is good. But why just pick one thing when you can have everything with Trio? Only $99 a month gets you phone, internet, and cable. That's everything you need for $99 a month. Ask for Trio. Call 601-2200 or email residentialsales at cablebahamas.com. Rev, you and us together. So everybody, it's the last segment, end of my show, where Gina gets to say whatever she wants. Now, what I wanted to bring up is something that I think that is so funny. It's not funny, it's stupid actually, with these children. These different challenges that they decide to do. I think it started off with the ice bucket challenge when they were raising money. This is so funny. I think they were raising money for the people in Africa who didn't have water, but yet they were wasting water, throwing ice on their head, whatever. And so suddenly all of these challenges came about and it'd be on YouTube. And I don't know if you all monitor what your kids are doing, but I know this happens for real because I follow up. I have young kids and they would tell me about these silly things. So I know it started off with you put your different types of food or ingredients in a jar and then you pick out three and then you pick out three and whatever you pick out has to go in the blender. You have to drink it. So that was a smoothie challenge, easy challenge. Throughout time, they have gotten insane because you all know about the Tide Pod challenge. I use Tide Pods. I like Tide Pods, okay? And they're so simple. And you take a Tide Pod and you throw it in. Great. So then they started doing the Tide Pod challenge. It was all over the news a few months ago when they had to see if these kids could eat a Tide Pod. And there, I think two kids died. A lot of them ended up in the hospital. It's detergent. Come on. It has on the box, do not consume. So then Tide was going to actually stop making them, you know. And I was like, what do you mean you're going to stop making them? Because these children are stupid? Come on. So it was so funny. They have all these different challenges. And what made me bring this up is I saw the other day that the latest one is to lick the toilet seat of an airplane. That is gross. And i telling you, I almost died. So that was so nasty. Where do they come up with this garbage? And then your kids watch this on YouTube and then they decide they're going to go do it. So we really need to pay attention to what our children are doing. And they have their phones and they have their computers. And you know, all, for all of you who don't know, each of our devices has uh, um, restrictions where you can monitor and you could press a button so they can't delete their history without you knowing. You, have to, you, could do, you can delete it, but they can't. So you'll know what they're actually watching and pay attention and who they're WhatsApping and talking to and which forum and their Snapchat and all that because you never know. And some of these kids, they shop because I find out what children are doing because my daughter's one of them will tell me everything. So I find out what they're, all, all, all the friends, I know what all them doing. So that is something that, huh. and anyway, so on another note, I want you to all remember to be the change that you want to see and help somebody. You can let someone out a corner. It's okay and try not to have so much road rage like me. I try to be nice, and I, and, but you know what it really irritates me? I let someone up the corner and they don't say thank you. <gasps> I hate that. So <laughs> I want you all to, um, what else is going on? Uh, Game of Thrones. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do without Game of Thrones. I'm, so I'm trying to figure out what's coming up. Uh, well, I have learned, I can't remember. Steven, I don't know if you know, you could nod your head, let me know. I heard that there's a prequel coming out. Um, and uh, HBO is now approving, so I'm hoping that's true, so we know what to do. Oh, it's in, she, you know, he knows everything, and he's like, oh, well, we don't really know. It's on the boarding line, so I hope so. So all my Game of Thrones lovers, hopefully we'll have something to turn to. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do on Sunday nights. But have a good night, have a good day, have a good everything. And I've been having these watch parties. I hope you all been watching on the watch parties. On the, you got to go on the no filter page, not the no filter group. Okay, so I do the watch party on the page more, all right? And have a good day, and thanks for watching. Make sure to share it. See you later. Bye. Promotional consideration provided by Oasis Shopping and Quality Home Center.